Hello everyone and welcome back to Space Engineers and with all the new Apex Survival updates we have now the Algae Farm, the new panel Oxygen Farm which I really really like and we have the solar panels as all of these solar powered blocks that are really nice and really amazing. And I've seen a lot of people building new solar trackers for their bases that include like piping and all this so it better takes advantage of all this however i myself like to play very nomadic especially during a space start and i don't want to have to fly a ship with a whole bunch of weird solar tracker arm things that just make the ship all jittery so what i'm going to do instead is i'm going to turn this ship itself into the solar tracker and um, it's actually really simple uh, with a couple of things we got to be aware of. So let's go ahead and get started on that. So for today's tutorial, I'm using the custom space pod that I'm currently working on that's more geared for like multiplayer servers. And uh, yeah, we'll just kind of go based off of that. The first thing we are going to be doing today is uh, we need to figure out what orientation that our uh, solar panels are going to be facing. And I think from here on out, I'm just gonna refer to all of them, the solar panels, the algae farms, and the oxygen farms, all as solar panels, cause that's kind of what they are. So we need to figure out if they're gonna be facing kind of horizontally, like they are currently like along the top or bottom of the ship, or are they gonna be in the vertical plane along the so either side of the ship? Or, I mean, you guess you, could have a vertical plane giving your ship a mohawk or a, I don't I don't know I think you understand what I mean so once we figure that out that's going to help us determine where our rotors are going to be placed and it's kind of weird because it kind of does matter I can't really explain to you the reason why I don't know if it's I'm just going crazy or I there's something here that I'm just I can't put into words because I don't know, I can't. So if you know what's going on and the reason why this works, please let me know. If I am indeed crazy, please let me know. Maybe we can do a poll in the comments down below. Is Kilted crazy or is Kilted just not, have no idea what he's talking about? Uh, you know what? I'm just going to keep it like that. I don't care. So... Once we kind of figure out the planes, it's like I said, it's going to determine where our rotors go. In this case, our first rotor, when we place it, is going along the the kind of the same. It's going to either go on the kind of facing the front or the back of the ship. In this case, I'm, I'm just going to throw this spot right here. We'll throw it right there. And since we're going to be assuming since our algae farm is on top and we'll just assume early on, I'm just going to build off of that and we'll have a whole bunch of farms, uh, solar panels kind of off the top here. So the next rotor needs to be kind of in that, since those are all horizontal, it needs to be in the vertical plane. So I'm going to just delete this block here and we're going to place it right here. And there we go. So we could, at this point, we're going to be adding our gyroscopes. Now, early game, cobalt might be a little difficult to get a hold of. So what we're going to do to make this easy for early game is we're going to knock out the heads of both of these rotors. And I'm going to use build vision here to replace them with the small heads. If you're not using build vision, you can just use the in menu uh, option to add small heads. And then we are going to place just kind of some blocks that we can place rotors on. In this case, I'm only gonna place like four. You could do more, you could do less. I haven't played around with less, but you could probably get away with less because the number of rotors you need is gonna be based off a couple of factors here. And those factors are, not the number of rotors, the number of gyroscopes you need are gonna be based entirely off the two factors. One, the weight of your ship. Obviously, the more weight, the more gyroscopes you need. 
and the time it takes for the sun to make one full rotation. Because if you think about it, making a full rotation in two hours, really, it's not ideal for gameplay. So we add more gyroscopes to do that. However, if we're just following the sun to gather stuff passively, then we don't really need as much gyroscopes that, as we would think if we were actively flying the ship. So kind of think about that. Like you don't need to overdo it on the gyroscopes. If it seems like it's slow, kind of let it sit there and see if it, you know, or you know, get the ship orientated to the sun initially with uh, your ship's gyros. And then just kind of let the system do what it needs to do and see if it keeps up with the sun, then you're probably good. If you notice the sun moving ahead of it, then you probably need to add more gyros. So in this case, I'm only going to add four. One, two, three, four. And now we're going to need a custom turret controller. So to do that, I could just build, again, you could just build a large grid custom turret controller. I'm just going to build a hinge and a small grid one because there's going to be a couple other things. I always have some sort of like additional logic going on. So having the extra space to do it is nicer. So on my hinge, I'm going to remove the large grid hinge and I'm going to replace that with a medium head. And that's going to be kind of the base of our large logic board. So first things first, we're going to place our custom turret controller. And then we need to add a camera. Since we're on the top, we'll add the camera on the top somewhere. We'll throw it right there. And that is everything that we need for this built. So we'll set the rotors. Rotor one. Rotor 2, assign it to the camera, and now we need to make it so it's always aiming at the sun. Now, if you look kind of past the menu, we can see we're not really doing anything. And the reason for that is we need to actually go to the gyros, not off the controller. We need to go to all of our additional gyros. We can see in the background, if you can look, you can see uh, Build Vision is highlighting the gyros I selected. We need to turn on override controls. And now we can see we're just ever so slowly turning. Now, this may be fast enough to keep up with the sun. But if you find yourself maybe a struggling a little bit and probably, I'm not going to say, it is kind of a best practice to do when you switch over to this. It's just to turn off your ship's main gyro. Because you can see that's a... So it's not having to fight it. You can see it's a lot more smoother. And additionally, if you're finding that you're struggling, but you don't want to add too many more gyros, you can always turn on shared inertia tensors if you are playing with that. It does... I do feel it makes it a little bit jumpier, but it, it does increase kind of what you can do. So from here, we can sit here and see that it, it functions. It works. This will keep track of the sun. These will help the ship kind of orientate itself. And I'm going to show you over here kind of the whole, like the reason why the orientation matters. So in this one, I think, are you... Yep, this one right here has, let me hear them. Turn on, so let me switch the camera on this one. All right, so this one right here, I didn't do one on the side. I did uh, rotors on the back and the bottom. And as you can see here, 
Did, uh, we're going to switch over to... Did I already switch to the... Okay, yeah, I switched over. But you can see here, it's rotating this back rotor to the sun. But if I was to sit here and move the sun, it's not adjusting this bottom like it is with... Oh, there's that example again. But like with the ones that have it on the side and the back where it's kind of using both of the rotors to kind of help ro rotate and orient the ship. However, if I was to switch the camera back to the side camera, which will be like if we were to have our um, system facing with, you know, side facing solar panels, We can now see that they're now both working to get the ship the way it should be facing. So just kind of a demonstration of why the orientation of that ship matters. So something I feel like we could always add once we've kind of completed the system is just some sort of mechanism just to kind of make it so we're not constantly manually having to switch on our gyros when we pilot the ship, switch off our solar tracker when we you know you know just to make that whole process simpler so to do that we're going to need our little friend over here the event controller and then we're going to have to go into our control panel and we're going to have to group our gyros for the solar tracker make sure that we can find the gyroscope for the ship and we're going to group our rotors for the solar tracker for make sure that we can find them. So we'll go into our event controller. And what we want to do is set the event to, you know, enter seat, cockpit, or leave. And we want to target our flight seat. And that's going to be essentially our main flight seat. So then we'll go to select actions. Now, for the first action we want is we're going to turn on our ship gyros. So this first slot is when we occupy the seat. So we're going to turn on the gyro and we're going to turn it off when we hop in, when we get out of the seat. Now for page two, which you can switch between uh, hitting control one through nine, we're going to go to our groups. And when we're in the seat, we want to make sure we're turning off our solar ship, our ship gyros. And then we're going to be turning them back on when we leave. And number three, it's not necessary, but I don't know. I don't like the rotors moving around when I'm not using them. So when we're occupying the seat, we're going to turn off the rotors. And we're going to turn them back on when we leave. So now I'm just going to make sure that those stay stuck. Yep. I should be able to hop into the seat here. We'll use, um, as you can see here, oh, I'll turn that ship gyro off. All of those are on. Now, when I hop into the seat, we can see our ship gyro is on and our solar tracker gyros are off. And that one's probably rotating just because it's, yeah, it's slowing down. So now I can sit here, fly, pilot, then hop out. And we can sit here and see that it's now reorientating the ship to the sun. So, yeah. What do you guys think? Is this kind of uh, something you guys are going to be using in your own game? Is it something you already use in your own game and just wanted to see how uh, I do it? Is it something that you just think it's novel and you're just like, that's cool, but never going to use it? Go ahead and let me know down below. Uh, just kind of a quick reminder, I do have a merch shop, KiltedBastard.net. The link is going to be down in the description. 
and all of the per- proceeds for that will go towards helping me or if I'm collaborating with a fellow creator such as Prestige Reaper and his Skyblock series, we have a whole bunch of merch with that which go towards helping with server upkeep and all that sort of fun jazz. And if you're interested, I am currently playing a live Let's Play series for his Season 2 of Skyblock. And I should be doing that on the weekends here. Uh, Maybe not every night, but at least a good chunk of them. I'm definitely doing it Friday nights. Saturday and Sunday nights may be spotty. It really depends what I have to do for that weekend. But until next time... I'm the Kilted Bastard. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you like me, I would very much enjoy a subscribe. And have a great rest of your night.